Hey there, boys and girls. Today I'll be doing the Scorn of the Great Explosion Festival. Uh, we need to evoke Odin and Lakshmi, get a chain of 20 or more in one turn, and use no green magic. Thomas was kind enough to set us up as Iris. Um, I want to say that this kind of applies to any any mages that you might have. Um, Zyrus, Sukiko, uh, Dark Fina, Mordegron. Doesn't really matter. Um, some like I think Fina would do this a lot faster than Zyrus, for example. But Zyrus is the strongest mage that I have, so I'm going to demonstrate it with him. Uh, we're taking Warrior Light as our evade cover tank this time. Um, basically, all your units need to be able to get 190% fire and ice resist. The strongest in peril you're going to take is um, 90%. So just kind of factor that in when you're um, putting the gear on your units for resist. But after that, you need hit points and defense. I'm taking Ignis again on this clear. I think Sylvie would be just fine. But if I took if I took Sylvie instead of Ignis, I would probably have to take Galoof. So it's kind of doubling up on units one way or another. Um, you want to be able to get general mitigation readily available. And you want to be able to get a good resist buff readily available. Um, what is it? Sylvie has 75% on her limit burst. That'll take care of, of your problems there as long as you know kind of account for the gearing process. Uh, we're taking Dr. Aiden as our healer. Um, you know, Folka would work here. Um, Lena would work here, of course. Um, whatever healer you take, just make sure that, you know, they have some MP region um, and stat break immunity. Uh, I'm taking Aiden because he kind of pairs well with Zyrus. Locke's going to be our breaker again and our Mirage unit. Um, I'm taking Locke uh, again on this clear because he can break the defense and, and spirit of the of the enemies as well as give us Mirage. So he kind of just speeds things up. Dry is perfectly fine. There's no turn turn limit on these fights, so you can take as long as you want. And I really feel like with this clear, like it doesn't matter. Like I did it, I did, I tested it out with Sukiko earlier and I was at like turn 26 and I was just going on and on and on. Um, this is my Zyrus now. He does have the Fire and Ice Resist. I didn't put Fire and Ice Resist on Rain. I am putting it on Zyrus. Um, that way I can just kind of show that we can take this as long as we need to. Other than that, he's got lots of Demon Killer up. And I think Thomas is geared just about the same way. Lots of Demon Killer. He's got plenty of Fire and Ice Resist. Very nice. Thank you, Thomas. Let's give it a go. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Aiden, turn one. He's going to give us some physical mitigation. And we're going to use stat break immunity. Ignis is going to do his cooking. Warrior Light is going to use his cooldown from uh, general mitigation and a physical cover. And then Locke is going to do double dagger, AZ step, and inhibition throw. Now I'm not gonna do like I'm not gonna do like ice damage. I'm just gonna do like one flat element. I'm just gonna what do you wanna do? Thunder? We'll use thunder and, and just do it like that. Um, I don't feel like killing one and having the other and up really makes that much of a difference. So you can just kinda whale it with one element over and over again. We don't have except for Levinson, any mages on global that can do fire and ice. Um Hein comes along later on and he can do that. So turn one with Zyrus, we're gonna do Elemental Infiltration. We want to do Living Dangerously times two. And we want to do... Yeah, we want to do Living Dangerously times two. And we'll do... Electrical Bypass. It would probably be a better idea instead of using that physical mitigation with Aiden to use a heal right there. Because we're going to... I forgot. We're going to hurt Zyrus a little bit with this Living Dangerously. And we'll do a Lightning... Go ahead and send that off. He should be fine. He's a big boy. <clears throat> but if you want to go for the utmost safety, just do your attack and magic uh, break, uh, protection, and a heal right there. Alrighty, with Zyrus, we want to go ahead and use his limit burst. We're doing this to get some extra modifiers on his abilities. And then Ignis is going to do... Let's do an LB fill buff and a resist buff. Uh, let's get Aiden to... 
Aiden's kit's so tough because he can do so much stuff. Let's just go ahead and get Aiden to use his limit burst right there since we have it. Uh, we'll just repeat with Lock. Uh, we can go ahead and summon an Esper. Let's get that out of the way. All right, now we got our resist in place. We're pretty much good to go as long as we don't let any of them bus fall off. Okay. Now with uh, Ignis, let's do a resist buff and this cooldown. And with Zyrus, we're going to go ahead and use this Magus ability now. Come down here. Blacklisted, lightning, hmm. wait, send that off, so many chains, it's so pretty, alright, with uh, Aiden, let's double cast, this is why I like Aiden, because he can get Zyrus' mana back. Quick, fast, and hairy. You can use items on this trial, too, so, you know, don't fret. You can use some elixirs right there. We'll have Warrior Light cover. And we'll repeat with Lock. There's the MP drains. No big deal. Um, I could use Locke's Limit Burst here, but I want to show this fight like basically you can just go all day right here. Alrighty, let's get let's jump down here. Lightning times four. Okay. And send this off. Mm, let's get Ignis to, I don't know, do a mitigation buff, be restore. We'll get Warrior Light to use his limit burst. That gives us a nice barrier and a good defense buff if for some reason, you know, our guys start getting smacked around like they can be protected. And then Aiden do his physical mitigation, that break immunity. Mm, let's go ahead and repeat with Lock. If, if ever you run into MP trouble with Locke, um, just just do only the Mirage and you'll be fine. Oh, I forgot to mention because I did Galoop as the solo tank. Um, wow, turn four. Um, Aiden, I totally forgot about it. I had this, I've had this team set for a while. Aiden is our passive provoke tank. If I had any editing skills at all, I would probably cut that and put, you know, something like that in the middle of the video right there. Aiden's the passive provoke tank for the little lads, um, so that's where all their attacks are going. I really apologize about that. It's very late, and I am super, super tired. Um, let's see. Whenever you have one turn left of elemental infiltration, you want to use the other cooldown ability. That'll let the quad cast go along, like, seamlessly. So we'll do Volcanic. Or lightning times three, and then we'll do that on the tail end. Oh, Take that off. Just go ahead and do a pack of magic buffs. Just to have that going on. Uh, Aiden doesn't have a whole lot going on in his life. We'll just do a double MP recovery. Where your light can cover. And we'll repeat with lock. So the top ones at 51%, bottom ones at 64%. It's okay. They don't have to all. They don't have to both die at the same time. That's fine. Here's the big nuke round. We fully resisted all that, and that basically is the fight right there. All we have to do is just keep our MP up, keep quadding until they just 
go away. Four. Oh, I need to do elemental. My bad. Got to get in some peril up, don't we? Right, chain this off. Ignis will refresh his cooking. Get warrior light limit burst again. I think we can just repeat that MP refresh with uh, Aiden. The, the bonus of using mages on this fight is you don't have to deal with the imperils. Really nothing, or the mirage, really nothing these bosses do will bother mages on this fight. Can we reload? No, I have to do it again. One, two, three, four. Chain them off. Uh, let's get Ignis, Mitigation, and Resist. We'll get Warrior Light to cover. Mm, Aiden will give us mitigate, Physical Mitigation and Stat Break Immunity. We'll just repeat with Lock. There's their big nuke. We don't care. We got your uh, your good. Yeah, we got his good buff up. All right, we'll do MP recovery slash resist. That's why Ignis is so awesome. Get us a stat buff. Chain this off. I think we're a little shy on MP right here. Are we? Yeah, we're a little shy. We'll just do Hazy Step. Refresh Warrior Light. Slimit Burst. Yeah, you can do a double MP recovery. turns we got on our plasma doodle all right plot it off again let's get Aiden to a double MP recovery right here and we'll cover with warrior light we'll let Aiden do MP recovery too One percent. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, it's time for other cooldown ability. One, two, three, four. It is, isn't it? I looked at that right. Okay. I get crazy. The longer I have to think about stuff, the crazier I get. One, two, three, and a four. Paint this off. Where your light slim at first. Do a double MP recovery. Get physical resistance. And stat break immunity. It's very redundant. I mean, it's a good thing because, you know, we can make this clear like this simple with our mages and how we gear them. <clears throat> Nothing's going to change. Unless. 
God forbid, like the boss like starts slapping you continuously. Like if the unit gets slapped like two or three times in a row, it could die because you know it wouldn't have the mirage. Uh, let's go ahead and get locked to break. He's got a seventy-four percent break on his limit burst, I think. We'll do that. Barrel and chain. All right, send that off. Ignis will do his cooking. Or your light will cover. We'll get Aiden to do double MP recovery. Pretty cool. Oh, at MP, at MP drain. Just watch him go. Oh, we got a lightning boy. How unfortunate. Well, that's fun. We got a dark one too. Stone. Okay, cool. Let's the electrical bypass. I'm doing that for the imperil. And then this guy can just chain. Um, getting kind of close here. Let's just go ahead and summon Odin so I don't forget. Chain these guys off. Now a lot can get back on the Mirage and Spirit Break. Where you like can limit burst. Aiden can give us stat break immunity and physical mitigation. The only reason I'm doing the physical mitigation, like I said, just in case the boss like slaps us a few times. cooldowns. Oh, we got plenty of turns. Chain some more. <laughs> Let's do a general mitigation MP recovery. Where your light can just cover. It's gonna be close. Hey, we got him. Good deal. Uh, 13 turns, not too bad. Um, you know, Thyrus is a little tricky gear. Uh, I'd say Dark Fina can do this much quicker. Um, Sukiko, like I said, works. Uh, Mordegron works. Um, just plug whatever mages you got into this kind of format. Like I said, if you got to use Sylvia instead of Ignis, just keep in mind that you, you could need some general mitigation. It's really not even that necessary because the only time that you should take damage is, like I said, if they slap you a couple of times, that will hit through. Um, the Mirage, because, you know, Mirage is only for one attack. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. And, and if a character dies, so what? Just pick them back up. No time limit. Just keep on going. So we summoned our two Aspers. We did not use any green magic. Completed all the missions. Good deal. Um, I really like this clear, and I would probably advise most people to do this right here because it's, it's so plug-and-play, so simple. I um, hope you guys liked the video. Have a good rest of the week. Toodaloo.